Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so example zero on the limit comparison test. Uh, and as this is example zero, we're going to state and prove it. Now, uh, because the proof of this limit comparison test makes use of the comparison test, aka the direct comparison test, at minimum, you need to know the statement of the comparison test. And so for that, uh, you can watch my example zero on the comparison test, also known as the direct comparison test, where we state and prove it, yeah? Okay, okay, okay. Um, so with that, let's uh, state the so-called limit comparison test. This is what it says. Uh, given two series of positive terms, this and this, uh, if we take the limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n divided by b sub n, and we get some finite number l that's greater than zero, then both series converge or both series diverge. Why? Well, let's look at the proof. Uh, from what we said about L, which is that it's greater than zero and finite, we can say that zero is less than L is less than infinity, right? But then this in turn means that we can find two positive numbers on either side of L. And let's call one of those positive numbers little n and the other capital N. So what I'm saying is we could do this. Yeah? Okay. Uh, now, because the limit is n goes to infinity of a sub n divided by b sub n is equal to L, there must be a positive number, capital M, such that for all other numbers, little m bigger than it, um, we can pin the quotient a sub n divided by b sub n uh, between little n and capital N. Now, this might be like the hardest thing to understand in this proof. And if you don't understand it, this is what we're saying. Like, since like uh, sending the limit as n goes to infinity means like picking n uh, continually larger and larger, if we do that and we get to L, which is by sending n to infinity, we get to L on this quotient, then we can pick a large enough number so that this quotient gets arbitrarily close to L. That's all we're saying uh, in this, right? Okay. Okay. But if this is true, then multiplying all three parts by B sub n, um, the following uh, can be um, uh, concluded, which is that multiplying by uh, B sub n here, we get this and then obviously in the middle we'll just get a sub n and then on the right we get um, capital N times b sub n, right? If this is true, this follows. That's easy, right? Okay, okay, okay. But now pay attention. Uh, little n times b sub n is less than a sub n. And on the other hand, capital N times b sub n is bigger than a sub n. And that's where the comparison test, aka the direct comparison test, is going to come in handy. Because with this, right? With this, uh, we can say first that if a series made of b sub n diverges, well, so will uh, a series made of little n times b sub n, right? Uh, if this diverges, it's easy to see that this also diverges, right? But wait, uh, this diverges means that uh, by the direct comparison test, uh, a sub n diverges because if we can find something smaller than a sub n that as a series diverges Then a series made of a sub n will also diverge, right? And that's what uh, the direct comparison test said. And so uh, let's write that Okay, uh, and why does b sub n diverge because we already said if uh, b sub n is divergent This is divergent and if this is divergent then B sub n is divergent, right? So so uh, then we used this to show that A sub n diverges if this, a series made of A sub n diverges if this diverges, right? Okay, and therefore, um, when uh, B sub n diverges, so will, uh, by B sub n diverges, I mean a series made of B sub n diverges, then so will a series made of A sub n, right? Okay, okay, and that's by the uh, direct comparison test. And you can probably guess what we're going to do next which is uh, say that like if a series made of capital N times B sub N converges, right, then a series made of A sub N will also converge. And of course, if a series made of B sub N converges, then so will a series made of capital N times B sub N. And so uh, as we want, if a series made of uh, B sub N converges, then so will a series made of a sub n. Yeah? Okay, all right. Now, you have no idea how many times I re-recorded this video. Like, part of it was because my neighbors were walking down and, like, making noise or whatever because it's, like, early in the morning. But the other part is, like, the delivery of this video has probably been the hardest 
of like any video that I've made in uh, recent memory. Yeah, I kid you not. I've re-recorded this video like 20 times. In parts, it was fun like like to re-record it. I was like, it was so bad that I was laughing. And then in parts, it became really irritating. Uh, I almost wanted to give up. So hopefully, like, you know, you enjoyed it. Um, all right. There'll be uh, four examples to follow this. And um, otherwise, uh, keep watching. Take care.